So what is up gamer today I am going to benchmark and review the newly launched Nvidia GeForce RTX 4060 desktop GPU that has launched today all over the world so I am going to compare this newly launched GPU with so many GPUs like RTX 3060 from previous generation 3060 Ti also newly launched RTX 4060 Ti which is a horrible product we all know that and AMD counterparts like 7600, 6600, 6650 XT and 6700 XT also and uh, I am going to compare them, review them and going to tell you that this newly launched RTX 4060 is for you or not and uh, I will you know show you the performance chart and let you know that should you buy this 4060 in 2023 so let's get started so as you can see here the performance chart where the specs and pricing has been compared with the help of hardware unbox benchmarks props to them they are the best in the business so RTX 4060 Ti and 4060 and 3060 as you can see on your screen launched for $400 4060 Ti 4060 launched for $300 and 3060 which was previous generation GPU launched for $330 so let's compare it with the core configuration like core, core configuration has been cut down in the 4060 in comparison to the 3060 as you can see here and uh, with the L2 cache that has also been increased because in comparison to 3060 as these GPUs are really less power hungry doesn't require that much power in comparison to the 3060 of previous generation which has 12 gigabytes of video memory yeah that's a downgrade as you all can see here PCI generation 4 x16 was supported with the 3060 but with the 4060 and 4060 Ti only PCI generation 4 times 8 so if you are like uh, planning to buy this GPU and then pair it with a like uh, older generation motherboard which only supports PCI generation 3 then you may see a performance decrease not that much but a little bit performance decrease as it doesn't fully utilize your PCI Express slot as it only have only 8 times lane so the memory capacity is only 8 gigabyte in both the GPUs that are launched 4060 and 4060 Ti 3060 was first launched with the 12 gigabyte variant and then after that with the 8 gigabyte variant that was I think a total BS and as you can see here the memory bus is has also been cut down 3060 used to have 192 bit memory and now 4060 has only 128 bit, bit memory that's why all of this configuration and all of its specs that's why the power consumption of of this GPU is really less as you can see here the memory bandwidth also I'm not going to you know discuss each and everything in detail I'm just going to show you the actual gaming benchmarks where you can see the actual performance of these GPUs in multiple games like almost 10 games so at 1080p resolution so as you can see here the power the 4060 Ti is 160 watts the 4060 the newly launched 4060 is 115 watts that's really great in comparison to the 3060 which used to consume around 170 watt at 100% load while gaming so let's jump the first game of our benchmark shall we Fortnite uh, the game has been tested tested by the hardware inbox the best channel on YouTube for the PC hardware reviews so Fortnite on DX11 API full HD epic quality settings TA and TA leasing at native resolution so as you can see here 4060 gives you 108 FPS that is really good but on the price that is you know launching at $300 in India it may be somewhere around 30 31,000 rupees I will not say that this result is really surprising man I think it is underwhelming because Fortnite is an old game launched in 2017 but we all know that it has been updated with Unreal Engine 5.2 Nanite and Lumen Ray Tracing technologies has been implemented in this game to make it more and more beautiful but I think for the price the performance is not that great just because as it is only matching the 6700 XT which is a much better GPU and uh, you know have 4 GB extra VRAM that is gonna help you in future also in comparison to the 7600 it only gives you uh, 90 FPS as you can see here and 80 FPS 1% low so in comparison to that ah, first of all I should tell you the RX 7600 was launched at 270 US dollars but now after the poor sales of this GPU AMD has cut down the prices even more to $250 and uh, I think for that price this GPU is kind of good 
like if you are if you are planning to buy the 6650 XT or maybe the 6600 XT you can go with the 7600 but in this video we are just going to focus on these two GPUs the 4060 and 7600 because we are directly comparing these two GPUs with each other now the latest pricing as of uh, the time of recording this video on 29th of June that is $250 for $7600 and $300 for RTX 4060. So keep that in mind while we see our benchmarks. So in comparison to the 3060, it is performing, maybe it is giving around 90-20 FPS more but that door does not justify its price to performance ratio. So yeah, this is what it is, what we can do. So for that price, I'm it is not the best product it is not the worst pro product it is just mediocre it is just in between if you are planning to buy you are getting less vram in comparison to the 3060 i know the 3060 was also an absurd product because in that price point nvidia shouldn't have given a 12 gigabyte or vram buffer but uh, they have cut down in the 4060 i don't know why what they want to do but uh, this time yeah the performance is not that great but you know in comparison to other gpus it is giving 100 fps so that is fine next game resident evil 4 really phenomenal game tested at full hd and 1080p resolution prioritized graphics preset in which it is using almost max graphics preset and giving you 106 fps average with 94 fps 1% lows and uh, rx 6600 is giving you 86 fps on an average that means uh, the 4060 is giving you 20 fps more at these same settings and i think for the amount that you are paying 50 dollars more in comparison to the 7600 i think that performance jump is i think great but in few of the games you will see further in the video that these two gpus are performing really neck and neck especially on the 1440p resolution also so uh, as you can see, yeah, 6600 is giving 78 FPS average, 6600 XT is giving you 92 FPS average. This GPU is currently going for I think $230 uh, USD and in India it is somewhere around 25,000 rupees which is also great but in that place I would highly recommend you can go with the 7600 which is newly launched and comes with the latest AV1 encoder. So it's it is also going to help you not in gaming but also in yes uh, heavy workloaded application like adobe premiere and in comparison to 3060 this performance is really underwhelming as 3060 also giving the same fps so there is no performance jump in comparison to this generation i don't know what they have uh, think you know launching this gpu but yeah what we can do so let's jump to the next game a plague tale requiem 1080p ultra quality preset 7600 beats the rtx 4060 yes as I already told you, in so many games, 7600 also, which is less in terms of pricing and giving you more performance in comparison to the newly launched 4060. And there is a huge performance jump, literally huge. Even the 1% lows of the 7600 could not match the e RTX 4060's average FPS. Can you see that? 66 FPS average and 1% lows of 7600 is 69 FPS average. Nice nice really underwhelming performance and uh, for that price i won't recommend this gpu like you should not buy this just consider the 7600 around 250 dollars that is a decent option but 4060 at 300 dollars no man i cannot recommend this gpu on that price if the price come down like like 20 260 dollars or maybe 270 dollars then you may consider this gpu but on that pricing nah man hell no even the 6600 and 6650 XT of the previous generation performs better than the 4060 in this particular game. And 3060 is beating the 4060 with a huge margin, literally huge, around 20 FPS of margin it is beating the 4060. Next game, Cyberpunk 2077, really popular, full HD, high quality preset and still 7600 which is less in price in comparison to 4060 beats by not a huge margin but still it is giving you better performance i know you may not notice these fps numbers while you are playing the game but it's a performance job and the 7600 is a lesser priced gpu so make your choice smartly so as you can see here 
yes it definitely beats the 6600 and 6650 xt and also the previous gens rtx 3060 by not a huge margin but still it's a gain so in this scenario also if you have the budget you can spend like more than a little bit more than 300 dollars i would highly recommend the 6700 xt which is giving way better performance and will give you extra 4 gb memory it comes with 12 gigabyte of g6 memory so in comparison to 4060 only with 8 gigabyte 6700 xt would be a much much better choice in comparison of 4060 so jump to the next game dying light 2 stay human tested at 1080 resolution with high quality preset with the dx11 api so rtx 4060 performs a little bit better in this game in comparison to the rx 6700 both gpus have 8 gigabyte of gddr6 video memory and uh, yeah uh, they are performing really good in this game it has beaten the rtx 3060 uh, by 17 fps and uh, rx 7600 by only 6 fps not a huge difference but uh, it is reasonable the performance in this game of the 4060 is really reasonable and i would say decent boss dogs legion a really good title from ubisoft full hd very high quality preset i think this is the max preset after that i think there is ultra also so yeah very high quality preset 7600 beats the rtx 4060 like now what i should say like 7600 comes at less pricing offers somewhat better performance in most games sometimes 4060 performs better sometimes 7600 performs better but also there is one thing with the 4060 it also supports dlss 3 frame generation yeah that can be an advantage especially in games like a plague tale requiem cyberpunk 2077 which supports dlss 3 frame generation you can skyrocket your fps just by enabling these settings and man there is will be a huge difference if you compare it with other gpus especially the 40 series gpu that's why 7600 is beating the 4060 if you care about dlss you can buy this gpu but it only supp supported by few games only like spider-man as i already told you cyberpunk practical Requiem. not every game supports it so i think value for money stuff i think amd is still the king so next game forza horizon 5 a really well optimized game 1080p resolution with extreme quality pc the highest pc in the game and 4060 is performing really good 100 plus fps that's really good i think this performance is really good and very promising in comparison to the 7600 it's also giving almost 100 fps at 95 fps on an average performing better than the 6650 xt matching almost the previous gen's rtx 3060 and beating the 3060 the 12 gigabyte variant by a decent margin so the performance in this game is really great next game marvel spider-man remastered which definitely supports frame generation but uh, the frame generation is not tested in this benchmark because of uh, obviously the other gps does not support the frame generation this is fine 40 60 150 fps almost average that is really great very high quality preset this game looks phenomenal and in, in comparison to the 7600 it is only giving 123 fps that is also a really great performance for the price and yes already told you this gpu comes around 250 dollars the price has been cut down since the launch and i think 7600 is now like kind of offering you a little bit value for money if you want the latest generation gpu or you can consider the last generation 6700 non xt which comes with 10 gigabytes of video memory that gpu also performs really closely with this 7600 so the performance in this game of the 4060 is really decent almost matching the 3060 ti has better one percent load in comparison to the 3060 ti next game hogwarts legacy full hd that means 1080p ultra graphics preset and both the gpus the 7600 and the 4060 performing neck and neck the one percent lows the average fps are almost identical you won't notice any difference while playing this game on either gpus and you will have a great experience ultra quality preset in this game are really intensive if you are planning to buy any of these gpus just use the high preset it looks as good as the ultra preset in this game so it uh, it is performing a little bit better than 3060 just two fps ahead on average so i will not say the that the 
परफॉर्मेंस इन दिस गेम इज ट्रमेंडस बट इट इज फाइन फॉर दैट टीयर ऑफ जी पी यू ओके द लास्ट ऑफ अस पार्ट वन रियल इंटेंसिव गेम बट विद द लेटेस्ट पैच वन पॉइंट वन दिस गेम इज नाउ काइंड ऑफ ऑप्टिमाइज एंड वेरी वेरी स्टेबल ऑन पी सी एंड यू कैन सी ऑन द अल्ट्रा क्वालिटी प्रेसेट आई वोट रिकमेंड इफ यू आर प्लेइंग दिस गेम ऑन एन एट गीगा बाइट जी पी यू जस्ट यूज द हाई क्वालिटी प्रीसेट बिकॉज वेन चूजिंग अल्ट्रा इट गोज अब द वी रैम लिमिटेशन सो इट इज स्मार्ट टू यूज ओनली हाई ग्राफिक्स प्रीसेट विद द एट गीगा बाइट जी पी यूज दैट्स वाई द वन परसेंट लोज आर रियली हॉरेबल इन दिस गेम सो फोर्टी सिक्सटी इज गिविंग यू फिफ्टी फाइव एफ पी एस ऑन एन एवरेज एंड दैट इज जस्ट मैचिंग द थर्टी सिक्सटी येस दैट्स द डाउनफॉल ऑफ द फोर्टी सिक्सटी बिकॉज ऑफ लेसर वी रैम इट इज गिविंग यू really bad 1% lows in comparison to 3060 because 3060 is having 12 gigabytes of vram so it is helping it to achieve higher 1% lows in comparison to the 4060 just with the 7600 also it has only 8 gigabytes of vram but that justifies its price because it comes only around 250 dollars so the performance is fine for much more stable performance as i have already told you just use the high preset in this game so the performance in this game is not that great call of duty modern warfare 2 this game highly favors amd gpus as and as you can see here 7600 beating the rtx 4060 by a huge huge margin literally a huge margin even beating the rtx 4060 ti and coming close to to the last gen rx 6800 which is a 16 gigabyte gpu that's insane so if you are a call of duty veteran just man blindly go with the amd gpus the rx 6700 and maybe the 7600 the newer generation gpu you will get really great performance if you compare it with rtx 4060 and other 40 series and 30 series gpu so the 40 series gpus in uh, especially the rtx 4060 ti is only matching the 6600 xt which is really underwhelming in this game and uh, what we can do this game was tested at ultra quality pc with taa and ta leasing in the multiplayer benchmark so next game hitman 3 really a phenomenal game now known as hitman the world of assassination 1080p ultra quality pc this game is really well optimized as you can see here 4060 is giving you 109 fps on an average with same 1% lows uh, in comparison to the 7600 and same fps average so these two gpus are performing really close to each other like this game is not biased towards any of the brand so both of of the gpus are performing really well in this game easily matching the 6650 xt of the large generation and beating the 3060 by a decent margin i would say so here is a total power consumption as i have already told you in the beginning of the video the power consumption of this 4060 is really less and i think this is really tremendous and as you can see here 4060 is the only gpu that is consuming the least power in comparison to all these gpus and uh, almost matching to the rx 6600 yes man that's damn good if you want to you know electricity bill then this gpu is for you but i'm not saying that just go ahead and buy this gpu no 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 not at all 7600 is consuming a little bit more power because it has a tdp of 160 watts somewhere around that only so few watt more but um, the value that is offering i think 7600 is a better choice in comparison to 4060 15 game averages as you can see here 4060 is a little bit better than the 7600 and uh, as you can see here and i think 4060 on 300 dollar pricing does not justify its price to performance it should be at least somewhere around 260 and 70 dollars and in india maybe it should be somewhere around 25 26000 20, rupees not more than that and if you are planning to buy this gpu please do not buy it consider other alternatives like from amd the rx 6700 it comes with 10 gb of video memory and with less pricing than in comparison to the 4060 so this is my review as you can see here and uh, the cost per frame uh, according to me so in the cost per frame analysis still the best value for money gpu shockingly the rx 6600 the previous gen rx 6600 is currently going somewhere around 200 210 dollars and in india it is somewhere around 21000 rupees which is really a great deal if you are planning to buy uh, a new gp or planning to build a new pc for 1080p high to ultra settings gaming still the best value for gpu is the rx 6600 so if you want to save some money 
want the best value for GPU for budget entry level 1080p gaming 6600 the previous gen is the most popular I think AMD GPU is still the best value but if you want the later generation I would highly recommend the previous gen RX 6700 non XT and uh, now the 7600 pricing has also come down so you can consider that GPU also at $250 if someone is giving you that GPU more than $250 do not buy it punch him on this face okay and uh, yeah do not buy that GPU 4060 man it's a mediocre GPU I cannot recommend this unless the price will come down to somewhere around $260-$70 on that price this GPU is decent but on $300 pricing nah man I cannot recommend this GPU so I hope this video was helpful for you I know the GPU market is not going much good and uh, I think the new GPUs that are launching in 2023 are really underwhelming really underperforming and uh, definitely our expectations from now are really less from upcoming GPUs uh, let me know in the comments down below and uh, I hope you like this review and benchmarks and uh, props to the hardware unbox uh, because of their benchmarks uh, I could make a whole entire video and I hope you all liked it subscribe for more and, uh, and I will see you all in the next one